Good morning, everybody. We have roti de mon grand-mère, which is a great old dish uh, for my grandmothers of a sirloin roast with some amazing flavors. We'll have some citron, some lemon. We have some French shallots, some oil cured black olives from France actually. And we'll have a, a couple of uh, cherry tomatoes. We'll have a side dish of some saffron infused whole grain brown jasmine rice. Doesn't that sound awesome? Let's start cooking. Well, the first thing we're going to do is to tie up our roast and I'll teach you how to do that. It's actually very simple and you want to do it because if you don't, some parts are thinner than others and it will cook unevenly. And not only that, the presentation is amazing. So uh, just that in itself, I really love to do. This is the thin part of the sirloin over here. So I'm going to curl it up and then slide a piece of uh, string underneath. It wants to curl back down on me, doesn't it? And what we want to do is tie that into a knot over here, a simple knot. Once that is uh, tied into a knot over here, you're basically just going to flip it around and uh, tie it up with a little simple uh, knot like this over here, see? And uh, it's kind of like a cross section. And we're going to just do that again, put it underneath and then flip it around at intervals of uh, about an inch or so, inch and a half. And we'll do one more. Should be nice and tight like that. Okay. There. See, it looks wonderful. Now, we're going to flip that around and then tie it to this end over here, but uh, not before we straighten these strings out. And you also want to flip it underneath these crossbars. And we'll start at this end. So I'm gonna slip it underneath and then just flip it around one more time. That'll help to keep it steady. And around this one. One more. All right, we've done all the sides. We're just gonna tie this up over here into one more simple knot. And then you can cut the rest of the strings off. How easy, beautiful, see that? Tied up nicely. Okay, we're gonna be browning the meat next, but I want to chop up a couple of shallots next. And I want to have them slivered, not chopped up finely. So you, they'll be part of the presentation. If you chop them up too finely, then you won't see them. But you want them to be present. You want to see them in their beautiful color and flavor. We're going to put these once again in the pan with the meat right now with some extra virgin olive oil. Here we are, extra virgin olive oil and organic to boot. You know how I feel about organic. I'm gonna say that every time I cook too, just to remind folks how important it is. So I have that heating up in the pan and I'm going to add my onions in a minute, but first I wanna put in the meat and brown that a little bit before I introduce the onions. So I'll throw that right in. Okay, let that cook for a bit. All right, it's about ready to turn, but before that, let's add some zest of lemon. Aha, the secret weapon. Uh, I'll tell you. I love lemon zest on so many dishes, and uh, roast is one of them. Any kind of beef, uh, pork, uh, uh, seafood, of course, they go great together. And I'm going to uh, put about the zest of a, a half a lemon on this side, and then a half a lemon on the other side. And once that browns up on this side, it'll help to infuse the flavors. Beautiful, all right, let's flip that around very carefully. It's a hot pan. I've got it on the highest setting possible to brown the meat. And the uh, shallots are caramelizing very nicely, as you can see. Okay, let's set that sit a little bit longer. Okay, this is properly brown, so I'm going to lower the heat over here. And uh, I'm going to uh, take the roast out and put it right in this pan over here. I already put the caramelized uh, uh, shallots in there. I'd like to put a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil on the bottom and on the top over here so that it doesn't uh, burn. We're going to put that in the oven now for ooh, about uh, one hour and uh, we'll be good to go. We're going to add some of the uh, other ingredients later on but what we can do for now is uh, add some of these beautiful black olives. Time from the garden. The garden is still doing well actually, relatively well. Not bad for February, I guess. I'll put some on top like that. 
and also we're going to add some zucchini but not until later zucchini strips will go in a little bit later because I don't want to uh, stand by I don't want to overcook them a little bit of white wine over here we're going to put about a about a cup perfect okay now what we'd like to do is put a little bit of fresh cracked, cracked pepper okay we're good to go in the oven for about an hour on 350 Time to work on our uh, rice over here. So I have one cup of rice. I also have two cups of water. That's about the uh, standard uh, measurements when you're making your rice. Uh, two cups of liquid uh, uh, per rice. Uh, one cup of rice. We'll put that in there. Now I want to give this uh, a little extra flavor instead of just the salt. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon of my uh, chicken base. Amazing flavor. Give that a try. It's really wonderful. Now I have my threads of saffron. I have about uh, uh, four to five threads over there, so that's going to give it a nice little flavor. I have my matchsticks of uh, zucchini over here, a squash. I'm going to put that later on. I don't want to overcook it. So let's get this on a boil and let these uh, flavors start to infuse. A little fresh cracked pepper. You know how I feel. Okay. Okay, it's time to put in our squash over here. And uh, let's see, we have... Ooh, about uh, another uh, 40 minutes remaining on the clock to cook this. So it's time to put these slivers in over here. What I'd like to do is put uh, the squash in a bowl and I'll put some extra virgin olive oil and uh, drizzle it up a little bit. We're going to put some sea salt. And uh, it's going to end up being about a teaspoon or so. A little bit of fresh ground pepper. Now, I'm going to mix this up by hand so that it coats evenly. Got to get your hands dirty every once in a while. Ah, now that's cooking. Now I'm going to put some of this right over here on the sides and take the time out. We want that to rise to the surface and we'll put this on the sides as well as you can see the onion, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the lemon on top over here. Okay, now we're going to put that back in the oven. The rice is doing very nicely and it's time to put in our zucchini over here. What I'd like to do first though, needs a little help zucchini. And so we'll put a little bit of salt over here, and a little bit of pepper, and then we'll add that right in. And we'll have some herbs de Provence introduced at this stage over here. And we'll put a pinch over here. Oh, it is beautiful and ready. Look at that roast. It's simply gorgeous with all the colors and the flavors, simple flavors that they marry well and you will knock the socks off of everybody with the flavors. And we have our saffron rice and it has a hint of citron, the lemon. And you can put a little bit of chili pepper also, which I did. Uh, sometimes I, I like to have it a little bit more spicy. And uh, there's also uh, the zucchini involved and there's some herbs de Provence and some black olives. You've got to try it. It's simply amazing. So I want to raise the glass to everybody. And Richard Peplin, yeah, you have to try this one next. I think everybody's going to like it. <laughs> Enjoy the kitchen with your family and your friends. You will build memories that last a lifetime. Take care.